Okay, up next, we have TK, founder and CEO of Jetta AI. Please help me welcome TK. Thank you. Uh, I'm TK. I'm uh, the founder and CEO of Jetta AI. Uh, what we do differently is like we transform ideas into visuals and create data, um, um, transform data to strategic analysis. Here uh, we have three main different ways to input your prompts. One, we have this AI menu, which comes with different strategic analysis. So if you go to the marketing tab, you have marketing mix, SEO testing framework, um, ADA, pass fr uh, framework, all of those. Marketers, you guys are familiar with like different type of frameworks. And I do slash with analysis. So this is what I meant by you know creating content visually. And I asked Jet AI to give me you know the definition of different type of um, strategic analysis for marketing. So ADA, pass, drip, steps, um, you know, what it means. So we have different type of commands like mind map, flowchart, wireframes, sticky notes, art. Also, data and document GPTs. Give me a site map or wellness grooming and website homepage. That could be anything, right? You can think of like, you know, you're working on a project, um, you want to create, you know, site maps. So, uh, this is one of the site maps, definitely, you know, I can keep generating um, using different type of uh, large language models as well. So for this, I selected Sonnet. So now it gave me a little differently. So this is how sort of you can create content and, and brainstorm with your ideas. Start with, um, with a wireframe. So I'm going to duplicate my prompt, say a wellness and grooming for pet website homepage. All right, I'm going to start with a wireframe. It just created a wireframe for me. Of course, for, for marketing, you know, website is your first thing to kind of like think of. And this sort of my starting point that, you know, it gave me a home, home page with some content, some ideas. It was pretty fast. If I want to like create some mock-up concept, I can ask, uh, this is something we call AI alchemy. So like you select an area, click the AI icon here and ask uh, something. Give me a mock-up concept for this. All right, so it gave me a concept, right? It's not a, a perfectly designed, but it's sort of your starting point to, um, you know, I, ideate on different type of layouts and design. Get my visual input, and it will, you know, try to detect uh, what is sort of the vision of me. So you can be an artist. You don't need to be an artist, but you can be an artist on Jet AI. Uh, in this example, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to draw a cat. It's a quick, uh, quick drawing, you know, don't judge my inner creativity. Oh, okay. It made it, made it surreal, okay. <laughs> it probably thought that, you know, this is the, the other part. This is where, like, I asked to create different type of mocks. It, it kind of gave me the mocks for you know, mobile phone. Um, uh, this is sort of an example of like, you know, I, I wanted to convert this illustration into, um, into an art. So it transformed it to, you know, this, this sort of visuals. This example, let's say, you know, I'm gonna copy and paste this mock, paste it on the AI, right? And then I can ask, um, give me, Give me uh, UX feedback for improvement. I'll select IQ and analyze this. Okay. And then uh, it gave me a feedback, right? You can keep asking uh, UX feedback, 
but it looked at the image and then gave me a relevant feedback for you. So here, you know, allow user to upload a profile picture and provide options to edit or change. Uh, group related information, marital status, blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's giving me a suggestions where I can improve. This is a CSV file. You can definitely download your CSV files from Google Analytics, Microsoft Clarity, or, or other sources. Um, what it does, these are all raw data that you can, you can see here. I'm going to say overview analysis. You know, ask a uh, prompt, and within a few seconds, it, it gives you data analytics. Can uh, definitely do many things, uh, change the type of diagrams. Uh, go back to bar chart. Let's so start. Let's start Q and A. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions for TK? Thank you for the presentation. Um, I'm curious for the multimodal applications. How sensitive yeah. is this going to be when LLMs you use under the hood have upgrade? So, like for example, GPT-4 switching to GPT-5. How much changes will you need to make on your side and? Also, the same question for like different models interaction. Oh, you're asking like from the de engineering perspective? Correct. Yeah, so of course, it's, um, I've been uh, doing, the, we, we launched this product, uh, the MVP was launched last year around April, and we saw the transitions between different models. Of course, like GPT-4 was not there, 3.5 was not there, we only had uh, Da Vinci, right? Uh, so every time we, we do uh, an upgrade, you got to definitely test whether it's responding. This is, this is definitely very difficult for us to you know, create the, the algorithm that you know, it's not hallucinating. It's you know, the way I'm asking the synthetic data from the large language model. It's giving me exactly the way I want it. And then we build some of the IPs, um, you know, starting from like generating synthetic data, and we've been testing uh, multiple models. So every time we do, we need to, uh, of course, test. Uh, I was not sure initially about introducing Anthropic, but then we had to make it work. So it's all about like you know playing with uh, different large language models for us specifically because it's not just you know, giving me text. It's giving me very structured data. And like you saw how, how complex the, even the data analytics, right? Like, you know, how we're creating the, uh, you know, the mechanism behind the scene, how it's gonna do real time, um, you know, queries and, and create the uh, visuals for you. So, yeah, I don't know whether that answered your question, but that, you know, that requires test and more development. <laughs> TK, what? models have you been most excited about recently from the perspective of uh, integrations with Jetta AI, but also outside <laughs> as um, an engineer? Great question. I don't know whether I should like take a, <laughs> take a side, but I would say um, we're focused into different areas, right? For creativity and for um, a different type of uh, you know, analytics. For analytics, I find um, Anthropic is definitely, you know, it, it is, uh, you know, fast as well as, you know, very precise. Uh, but for creativity, you know, I would say definitely um, uh, OpenAI, uh, GPT-4, uh, 3.5 as well. And, you know, I find a very good balance. Of course, you know, uh, it also depends on, like, you know, we, we do dynamic prompting, right? So this is, like, you don't need to do or write any prompting, you can just like, you know, ask a question. Um, like for example, like if I say SWOT analysis and click this dynamic prompt, it will guide you, ask you questions to kind of like, you know, fill up the context. So as you can see, I asked SWOT analysis. It, it gave me what is, the, what is the context of the SWOT analysis? What is, the, you know, different type of questions. Like what is the product? What is the opportunity? So like, kind of guide you through your prompt, so you don't need to do prompt engineering. But going back to the original question, it's, uh, I would say 
I'm not sure whether GPT-5 is coming anytime soon or, you know, how uh, Sam Altman is, uh, you know, uh, giving it to us, but I'm definitely optimistic about, like, the next version. But, yeah, uh, both, in a way. <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate it. That was uh, an incredible presentation. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you again. very much.